Hey guys, welcome to today's video. This is Martin, I'm Lucas and today we have something special to show you because Martin made these interchangeable wiring plates for his Fender Telecaster and in this video we want to talk about these control plates, the wirings Martin chose and give you some sound samples. The guitar Martin is holding is his uh, Fender Baja Telecaster, which is unfortunately no longer produced, but there uh, it has a successor from the Vintero series. Yeah, the 50s modified, I think, or modern. Uh, it's called, it has the same wiring as the Baja, mm -hmm. uh, different pickups, if I remember correctly, and different yeah. finishes. Yeah, the rest should be about the same. What I've did was I've made these control plates uh, interchangeable. Mm -hmm. I've put some quick connectors on the pickups and some wired as well to the control plates themselves where the pickups would go and yeah the ground would go and the output check as well. Like this I can just unscrew the two screws that's holding the control plate in the telecaster, unplug it, plug the other one in, screw the plate again in and have a completely different wiring. In my case, in addition to the normal Baja wiring, which is normal <laughs> with the out of phase and serious control, um, but with the standard Telecaster wiring in it as well, I have the Esquire wiring that's now currently in the guitar and the Broadcaster blend wiring. This way. Exactly. Yeah. And they have very different controls and also a quite different sound, you will hear the sound samples later on. Let's start with the broadcaster wiring and the most upward position where you would have the neck on a normal telecaster. You have the neck pickup with a capacitor attached to it that's making it yeah, somewhat a base position. The original intent was to have a position that can replace a bass guitar almost not mm -hmm. 100% but that was the idea behind it without any tone control only volume control Oops. the middle position then is also again just the neck but without any tone control which makes it very different from your normal telecaster neck where you always have some kind of yeah, tone control so attached to it the neck is bypassed, uh, sorry, the tone control is completely bypassed for the neck in this position, which is, it sounds a lot different than the standard neck position on the Baja. Yeah, it has more snap to it. Yeah. And the last position is the bridge pickup, and this is not a tone control in this case. No. This one blends in the neck pickup, which gives, for my taste, some quiet funky tones and quite a variety you can have. It also depends a little bit on the amp and the drive you're having. It works better with some gain. Uh, we tried on the clean. It was noticeable when, when you add the, uh, the neck pickup, but the difference was much bigger when you had some uh, overdrive. Yeah, it's, it depends also a little bit on the amp. Yeah. For example, when I've played it through the Spark with the I think it was the Tweed mm -hmm. amp model in there. It had more effect than with the Vox AC15 that we're trying today. Okay. And we're displaying it. So there it was way more noticeable when you add in the, the neck pickup. Mm -hmm. That's the broadcaster. That's the broadcaster one. Mm -hmm. The Esquire one that's currently in the guitar. The position all the way up is also somewhat a bass position. In this wiring you only have the bridge pickup, the neck pickup is not connected. What I've wired up is the way that I can use also the neck pickup instead of the bridge pickup for the same wiring. Mm -hmm. okay. So I can also just not insert the, uh, the bridge pickup into that slot, I, wire, I can also wire the neck pickup into that slot. Okay. If you guys are interested leave a comment. We can check that out for you as well if what kind of difference this makes. Yeah, then uh, the middle position is just 
again always the bridge but now you have a tone control attached to it yeah and last but not least is the bridge position without any tone control to it which is quite harsh in my opinion yeah. uh, gives a lot of spank so you might want to reduce uh, the tone a little bit on the on the amp the treble the control. treble mm -hmm. yeah and get it with that under control um, if you need to cut through somewhere this is the position this cuts through solid steel <laughs> it's it. yeah what we didn't talk about is the standard Baja wiring so far oops didn't damage it. Uh, Martin said it has four position controls. The first one is the two uh, single coils in series giving it like a humbucker tone, a fuller sound. Standard neck with volume and tone of course. Uh, middle is both in parallel. Yeah. And bridge also standard tele wiring with uh, tone control exactly. attached. And with this one switch yeah. you can put the middle positions so the, the, the normal parallel yeah. and the serious position yeah. out of phase. Yeah. yeah. We're only showing today uh, all, all the things out without out of phase. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Still 10 different positions with these three wiring plates. So yeah. pretty, pretty uh, big variety. So let's hear them, right? Yeah.
So we hope you enjoyed the different sound samples of this guitar and all the different uh, wiring plates. And please leave a comment down below which one was your favorite, we would really like to know. What I would like to know is um, what parts you used for these two additional plates. Obviously not this one, except for the quick connectors, but the Esquire one and the Broadcaster one. So, uh, which parts you used and how much it all cost. I used CTS parts mm -hmm. for the wirings. And the rest are pretty much fender parts. I used the fender contra plate so the holes align up with the holes that I'm having with the standard Baja wiring. So, uh, yeah, I don't have the problem with holes not being in the proper position. Makes sense. Just yeah. to make sure it fits perfectly. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, yeah, fender switch. Um, I used one uh, orange drop capacitor. Uh, 0 0.047 microfarad for uh, the Esquire and the broadcaster wiring and the same value with such smaller brown capacitors on the Esquire wiring not on this no, is the... yeah yeah this is the Baja yeah on the Esquire wiring because there are two additional ones and the space is quite limited inside so I had to make sure I have enough space I thought the orange drop capacitors would fit better on one particular position and uh, the other smaller ones can be used where I don't have that space. So that was the reason why I changed. There's, I could have used the cheaper ones on all, the, on all capacitors, it does not make much of a difference. It's just that with the size itself it was more convenient for me to wire it up. Yeah, the knobs up here uh, are not original Fender ones. I had them lying around from some guitar kits. Uh, they are also okay. not meant for a Telecaster. Uh, yeah, they are for split shaft pots. That's why I also had to buy split shaft pots like you would normally use on a Stratocaster and not on a Telecaster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much about it. One plate cost me in the end, I think, about 80 euros with everything together. 80 euros? 80 euros, yeah. Okay. Probably. So, uh, when I calculate in the shipping, all the connectors that I had to buy. This one. Yeah. yeah and all the, all the parts that are used in there. I think that's about where it landed. I think that's a rather small investment to make a huge difference in terms of sound. And you make pretty much a different guitar out of this one. Yep, that was the, the original idea. Um, mm. I have the problem that the wife acceptance factor for yeah, new guitars is extremely low. But for new control plates or wiring plates it's yep. high. The, the problem is I don't have the space at home yeah. to place new guitars somewhere. And this is the reason I did not want to let go of another guitar and I wanted to try especially the broadcaster wiring and thought, hell, why not and go with the Esquire as well. And the pickups in this guitar are amazing. Yeah, the, the thing is this guitar actually lends itself really to use for this because it has a broadcaster bridge pickup. So, And what the neck is twisted telly. Neck is a twisted telly. Twisted yeah. telly. So yeah, it's... You're right, it all makes makes a lot of sense to make a broadcaster wiring with it. So how long did it take you to complete this project? Meaning change to the quick connectors and make these two additional wiring plates? The quick connectors were changed and about, yeah, I think 20 minutes, something mm -hmm. like this. I had to decide how long I leave the wire from the pickups still inside yeah. and yeah, how it, where I place them, so where I place the connectors, so I have enough space to uh, then remove the or put the put the connectors aside, so it's not in the way when I'm inserting everything. Um, yeah, this took a little to figure out, so I would say yeah, half an hour for that. Okay. Uh, okay. Wiring up each control plate took me about one hour each. The Esquire a little bit more. Believe it or not, that one pickup wiring is more complex than the broadcaster wiring. <laughs> um, yeah, 
and with this we're about two and a half hours. Um, Great. We'll have uh, tutorials for each wiring. I'll also make a tutorial for the Baja wiring because now that it's outside it's easy to do. Mm -hmm. As well as the broadcaster and the Esquire wiring. Yeah, so you can do it yourself. Well, I have to say, Martin, I think this idea is genius. I've never seen anything like this online. There are guitars that have interchangeable pickups. There's Relish guitars, for example, the Swiss Mate, where you can put different pickups in. And there are guitars with rotating with a couple of pickups that you can rotate. I saw yeah. the, one of that on, on Daryl Braun's channel. But I've never seen uh, interchangeable control plates. And we've talked about this, I think, or we both think and we agree that it's only possible on a Telecaster because it's just a small plate like this. Because yeah. on the Tele, uh, not on a Tele, on a Strat, it's all on this huge uh, uh, stretch plate, on the huge uh, pick guard exactly. And it takes much longer to replace all these parts. And for other guitars, with where, where you have the controls from the back side, like the Gibson style guitars and, and yeah, you have other to guitars. Yeah, you have to all the pots all the time. Yeah. Exactly, it takes much, much longer, even if you would have some kind of plate. The obvious choice to do it for a tele, maybe it's the only choice. If there are any other guitars, we don't know yeah. of them. Maybe there are, but uh, for the tele it works great. I think uh, it's a really cool idea. And I like the sounds a lot. I think my preferred sound is the broadcaster wiring in this position where the tone is wrong, this one. Where the, the blend. where the blend is. I think it's so cool to, to just blend the neck in uh, at your uh, uh, hair. hair. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's a very subtle change that you can make on it and gives you a lot of control and still a limited space. Yeah, yeah. It's That's, not... and I've, I don't have any guitars with like a blend knob. Yeah. So that's really cool if, if you want to brighten up, you put more uh, bridge pickup bridge in pick and vice versa if you want it and a little I bit darker. I think it's in general quite versatile with the neck pickup as well. The bass sound? Not the bass sound, but uh, the middle position ah. where you have the neck pickup without any tone control. Yeah. So you have this warm tele sound which is still snappier as you're lacking all the tone control. But it doesn't have that much, yeah it's not that ice peaky. Than, uh, yeah, if like with to the, the Esquire. Esquire, yeah. So yeah, overall, my from from those two new plates, I would prefer the Broadcaster. I Same think that's here. a really cool wiring. But then again, the Esquire is a little bit crazy. The, yeah, the full blast bridge, it's wow, that's just spectacular. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, awesome idea, awesome solution. It's really great. It works great. Changing it with some practice, I think you will manage in maybe a minute, a minute and a half. So it doesn't take too long to change the plates. That's also worth mentioning. And other than that, I think you can look forward to the wiring tutorials yeah. Martin will prepare. And if you have questions, I'm sure Martin is happy to help. I won't be any help in this regard. <laughs> But Just shoot your questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Exactly. So if you have questions, contact Martin or just leave a comment down below. And yeah, anything to add, Martin? No, I'm quite happy with it. I like the broadcaster wiring and the Baja wiring. I think I will change these ones quite frequently yeah. because both are different and offer something different. The Esquire, maybe I have to try it a little bit more and get used to it, or maybe try to connect the neck pickup to it. That would be interesting. That's another experiment. All right. Thanks very much for staying with us, and see you in another video, guys. Bye. Bye.